This is a roundup of my five favorite Taylor acoustic guitars. If you want to check these out, you can use the Sweetwater link in the description, which helps support our work, but at no extra cost to you. Thanks for trusting our recommendations. Our top pick, the Taylor GS Mini. We like the GS Mini for nearly all styles and situations, like recording, couch strumming, and everything in between. It's one of the rare acoustic models that we can recommend for beginners and more advanced players alike. Those who prefer melodic finger-picking styles will also appreciate the brighter tone profile. Our second pick, the Taylor BT2. While the BT2 is one of the few Taylor acoustics that doesn't always give you a solid wood top, laminated is substituted in some mahogany BT2 models, it still sounds great and even presents a decently warm tone profile, despite being so small. It's smaller than the GS Mini, and perhaps more firmly in the beginner acoustic guitar camp, but still has some relevance to more advanced players. Our third pick, the Taylor 114E or CE. The 114E and CE are two of the more popular mid-range Taylor acoustics, settling near $900 in most markets. It has a higher and brighter tone quality, especially if you compare it to something like Martin, which tends to produce acoustics with a warmer tone profile. If you're looking for a brighter and more versatile acoustic tone, the 114C is gonna be a great value for you. Our fourth pick, the Taylor 224CE, multiple tonewood versions. The 224CE gets you into the upper regions of Taylor quality with an entirely Koa built guitar that includes a solid top, ES2 electronics, and all the trimmings. It sells for a manageable price while still giving you the quality and feel of the high-end Taylors that can easily hit $3,000 or more. Like the one, 14, you have the concert style body shape and cutaway, which produce a slightly higher EQ, though is also balanced by the warmth of the Koa Tonewood. Our last pick, the Taylor 814C. Solid spruce top with spruce bracing and relief route all get the feature rich list started for the 814C. Though the appeal is found in the sound and feel of this guitar, the 800 level Taylors are truly supreme instruments and some of the nicest in the world, which we'd expect given the price tag of around $3,500 in most markets. Cost, value, and budgets. Taylor's mid-range acoustics tend to give you a lot for what you pay, while the higher-end models are so expensive that their value comes down. But if you've decided on the Taylor brand, you can set your budget pretty much wherever and still have plenty of options to choose from. Here are a few budget guidelines we'd recommend for Taylor Acoustics. Plan on easily spending over $300, even if you're targeting lower cost options. $600 to $1,000 is where you'll get the most value. Only go into the upper tier Taylors, the 200 to 800 series models, if you're confident about your purchase and plan to use it in a professional or semi-professional capacity. What are the main differences between Taylor and Martin acoustics? Generally, Taylors and Martins have very different tone leads. Martins, warmer tone, more bass in the EQ. Taylors, brighter tone, more treble in the EQ. Keep in mind, these are very broad generalizations. You can find warm Taylors and you can find bright Martins. However, the two brands definitely have their distinctive sounds and playing feel. Do you have questions about these acoustics? Keep in mind, the recommendations we've made are based on personal experience. These are Taylor acoustic guitars that we've actually played and used, which means there are other good options out there that we haven't had the chance to test. But we'd rather recommend less guitars that we have more experience with. Leave your thoughts and questions in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and check us out at guitarchalk.com.